Hi, this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand, ready for another awesome video. So last video, I was showing you how to make a lease card by using Local King's 2021 Spring New Release, the perfect stone background stand. And then I was going to also show this one, but it's already 20 minutes, so I have decided to keep my video short. So this is today's video. The same background stamp and then looks how different it is and it is so easy. Of course, in this video, I have some awesome tips to share with you. That's started. Okay, so that's today. start today's video. It's going to be a short one. So I already stamped my image with a stays on and uh, they have been, it has been completely dry. Make sure you, what I do is sometimes just stamp few of them and then let them set for one, two days. And anytime when I want to use, uh, want to make something, I don't have to, you know, um, Wait. So stays on, and if you have a stand positioner, stand one or two times, they get a better image. And then same thing again. This is the Maco Carsta. Watch this uh, paper review and give you all the information about what kind of Carsta is good for what. Okay. So recently, I found out a lot of stand company they switch their uh, red rubber stamp to the clear stamp. So. Are you, do you like a clear stamp or do you like a red rubber stamp? If you can leave me a comment, let me know that will be awesome. Personally, I am the red rubber, um, rubber stamp lover. I don't, I don't really, um, I don't really have a clear stamp. Um, only the sentiment, the words stamp set. Um, I think, do I have it? I don't think so. I can't record it. I have some clear stamp. Okay, how about you? What's the percentage of you? Do you have a most of your stamp rubber or you like a clear stamp? And then why you like the clear stamp? If you can leave me a comment, let me know. That will be awesome. Okay, today's video is so easy, but uh, I actually have uh, something awesome to share with you. If you have a, a set of a Local Kings of Magic Mushroom, awesome is a great tool. I think if most of you have been trying those Magic Mushroom, I'm sure you are falling in love with that. If you don't have a Local Kings of Magic Mushroom, that's okay. You can try to use the makeup sponge and your blending tool. They will work just fine. Okay, so that's us start uh, today's uh, coloring technique. It's so easy. Don't blank it, you might missing something. So I'm gonna start with the uh, orange and a little bit pink, a little bit purple, a little bit blue, a little bit brown. So those are the rubber nakers color fuse in pair. Love them because uh, they have a 48 color. They are small sometimes. It's so much easier to, to find what I want. And then I have been keep telling, if you have a set of magic mushroom, those mushroom is working better when they are a little bit moisture. So I just uh, kind of squeeze my magic mushroom with a wet, a wet cloth, just to give it moisture, okay, not too wet. Okay, and then I am going to just uh, do this, okay. Five seconds, you can time me. So one, and then we're going to change my magic mushroom to, you know, this uh, magic mushroom is awesome because uh, you can control it. When you push harder, they become darker. When you release a little bit, they will blending the color together. They work so well. And then I am going to just give a little bit red here and i'm going to use a, a little bit purple here okay so what i like to do is i always uh, kind of like a tapping a little bit to make sure that's the color i want and uh, that's do a little bit blue too those uh cold car star is awesome once when you apply the color they kind of absorb all the ink and then once when you have a first coat no matter how much mark color you put on top they can just pick a little bit color so you want to do it right and uh, that's uh, just uh, do a little bit blue here 
kind of just drawing a little circle and then when you want the blending make sure you use the both of your finger try to holding the sponge part try to do not like a twist like this okay so that way your magic mushroom will leave a little bit longer okay so let's do that okay i'm going to do a little bit corner here purple corner here almost there i think this is the most uh, easiest way to color isn't it okay so after you color then you see on um, my sample card here have uh, some kind of white highlight right how did i do those uh, highlight uh, um it's so easy we just need the one exact knife this knife is a pain blade i got this uh, pain blade one year when i went to utah for what was the show i don't even remember i never see them sell anymore but you know what you can let me find the, the regular you can use the any kind of craft knife they will do this is the one i just pick up on the dollar store if you don't have these let me show you we can just use uh, the regular knife like this this will work too but you just got to make sure your blade is sharp enough so i'm going to do that and then this is what i like to do every time after i kind of break the knife i always uh, kind of Tape it with a one tape and then find a piece of scrap paper. You know, to make sure this blade is not going to hurt anybody because sometimes you just dump inside the garbage and then the poor garbage collector, you know, they can hurt their they can hurt them so this is just my hobby if you have some small piece of blade i always just try to um cover with a piece of paper and it's not plastic it's not bad for environment it's just some kind of is it the paper they will dissolve so okay so if you have a if you have a any kind of knife let me bring a little bit close okay and then che why keep going Okay, if you want to do the things I'm showing you next, you got to make sure you use the right paper. Like I said, this paper is a coated matte cardstock. So that means is they are kind of like a clay coated on the surface, kind of like a very thin layer of a drywall. And then when we scratch, you can you can see there's something come off. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So kind of just uh, scratch that tight area. See the highlight? I'm going to use my, this knife is uh, kind of scratch better. So kind of just uh, use the tip. And then you can actually see some kind of clay dust. There's a kind of come out okay and then let's do a little bit more highlight use the side so because of this knife is a kind of pain shape is much easier to control than the exact knife so you use what you have and i think this if you go internet it's called the pin blade hey andrea andrea in washington if you are watching this video remember this blade we went to utah together and i told you this is a good you bought some do you still have yours andrea well missing you haven't seen you for a long time okay so that's do these and then Okay, see how easy I kind of just scratch this wave. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, 
And then what I did is I covered with those tall again, those kind of lace stuff with glitter. I think it's actually really pretty. See exactly the same car, but look the color. It looks totally different. And then you decide you want to. I was when I was working on this one, I kind of want to make like a very matte wave ocean, but my ocean turned out very pleasant. Okay. So, and then we can do that. You can put the, I just love the color, isn't it? And then, can you believe it? I only use the least uh, four color. And then you probably asked me, so why you have a brown on your table? That's a good question because I forgot to use it. I want to show you something. Remember the last car I was showing you how to create some masking? So if you want to, we can actually make your wave more 3D by using this template to create your own masking. I'm gonna use the or brown magic mushroom, okay? And then remember those uh, code cards I, I have been mentioned too many times. Once uh, when you put your foundation color, they are kind of limit. You can give a little bit touch out, but they are not going to be so dark. So I kind of just uh, use my brown, kind of give it tap, tapping, tapping. And then this uh, magic mushroom, because uh, you can see, I show you something. You can just uh, like a uh, push hard. They can, they get darker color. You can gently release a little bit pressure. So you can kind of blend in the color. Look at that. I think that's so pretty, isn't it? So you can put a koi fish on top. I think even put a flower on top. They will work. Uh, they will. They will show so well too. So um, the stem set from this boat because I try to use uh, like a small image. Oh, I think this boat. You know what? I'm going to add this boat. I was at Michael's uh, yesterday. I actually found uh, they actually carry these uh, recollection, carry these car, uh, 110 pounds car stock. And I don't know about the quality. So it's only $15 Canadian. So do you, does your Michael's carry these kind of paper? I don't know what's the quality. That's try. But uh, I always uh, like a good quality car stock. And they actually have a too many different color. It's a pretty thick and then it's a pretty smooth. So do, does your Michaels carry those um, um, hundred ten pound car stock? I hope you do because I kind of feel the quality is actually pretty good. Okay, so that's the... I'm going to just use uh, stay on. Okay, and then remember, did you watch that stay on the best uh, stay on cleaner that you can find at the hardware store? Remember the glue gun. So things that uh, I create, I div um found out the glue gun is the best uh, cleaner for the permanent impact. So. I don't think so. I ever have to buy any cleaner for the permanent impact anymore. Actually, I think the quality is actually very good. How do you think? I think I'm missing a spot. That's let me do one more time. Okay, that's much better. And I keep all my stamps inside the CD case. And in the back, I just tape one. Um, magnet sheets and I usually just uh, kind of tape all my die there and put it in the drawer storage then like a CD case like a CD and then I keep all my guiding uh, window inside the that CD case so anytime I want to use it I don't have to create a guiding window anymore so let's do that and uh, I'm going to tape it and I'm going to die cut it. Okay, that's it. Always make sure you have a clean cut before you remove your die cut. And I'm going to put my die cut there. I'm going to put my guiding window inside. 
So that way, every time when I need it, I don't have to create it. I don't have to create a guiding window. Okay, and uh, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. I think it will go like this. Okay, I am going to um car um, or like this. Oh, like this, any way you like. I think that's good. I'm going to call it. I will be right back. Okay, so I finished color my boat by using the markers. And then in my video, you can see sometimes I just use a piece of acrylic block and put my, uh, use my marker, draw a few lines and then use as a watercolor. I think that color is enough and it's so pretty, isn't it? And then in the end, we can just use those uh, white jelly pen, kind of give a little bit, touch out the highlight. I'm going to show you not too much. Just give a little bit highlighted. See my boat is over there. I think it really looks nice. And then I was going to put the, the bow right on top of this wave, right? You can, well, we can change direction. It doesn't have to be sitting on top of this wave. You can do whatever you like. But I found out if I put my boat directly on this car stock, my boat is not the pop out. It's kind of um, blending inside the ocean. So I think it's better that I am going to use this again. I think it's a, first of all, it looks so pretty. And the second of all, see, my boat is a pop out. And then I am going to just, uh, where is the scissors? See the scissors, scissors here. Yeah, so I'm going to just uh, trimming it and then mount it. And let me see, do I need to add uh, anything else? Let's see. See, I just, uh, Give a little bit of Oh, you know what? I have a black. Nope. The black doesn't work well. And you know what? Don't buy the black because this glitter is going everywhere. So I think the black is kind of too much. How do you think? My boat is going to pop out, but um, I lose my beautiful wave. Oh my God. Oh my God. My table is all glitter. How about this dark blue? Uh, uh, mm, no, I think, I think my recommendation is just buy the white one because look my table. Oh my God. And then because at least it's silicone mat, the glitter is really stick there. They are not going it anywhere. See, I really mean that. Glitter is not your friend do at your friend's house. Okay, so I think that's actually very pretty. Let me see. And then I have my car stock here already. So you can, just mount your, like, a, put this one and then put your boat on top. I think that's really, really pretty. I think maybe I should make some wave. Okay, so I finished my final project and you see this boat. I actually put a little bit of the kind of three dimensional glue and the sprinkle some glitter on top. I think that looks actually pretty, right? And then I add a little bit wave uh, under. Um, I think uh, I want to just create the, the boat is on the wave. And then instead of put the, the right side, I kind of rotate my background stamp. So you can see what's the difference between these two stamps, right? The same background, same back, I mean, the two different kind of car, the same backgrounds, but a different way to play. They turn out something totally different. So do you like the blue one or you like the red one? I think that looks just awesome. I think it's a great car for the guys. And then I was showing you that you can try the 
hot foil, all different kind of technique. And I'm sure from my video, you have learned a lot of a different um, technique, stamping technique. And I hope you really enjoy this uh, channel. I sure enjoy my job, can't complain. So this is the fifth background stamp I have created the video to show you how to use it. I still have the uh, garden flower. That will be this one. Look how pretty it is. This is just a black stays on on the gold car stuff. I didn't do nothing. So this is going to be one, but I want to create the other technique to show you how you can use this uh, flower background. We have the magic carpet. I'm definitely working on that. And then we have the tickles, the feather background stamp. So three more background stamp. And then for my past few videos, I was just want to try to focus on the background stamp. I don't really put a lot of stuff in front of that. I'm waiting for the portal ties arrive. I still have eight, eight more stamps and a matching die set coming. So as soon as the, when those portal ties arrive, I will combine them with our background stamp. You know me, I like to use the same stamps to create too many different kinds of um, cards to show you the What's the possibility? And then I hope you really enjoy it. For our YouTube channel, uh, for our YouTube viewers, here is the 5% off extra discount. At this moment, the whole store is 15% off, except the 2021 spring new design. But this 5% off coupon code is good for everything. That means good for 2021 spring of uh, the spring new design is good for that four special combo set is even good for this month's special so for this month's special if you are thinking about to purchase a uh, large set of markers and the small um small marker combo set you get a 20 percent uh, 20 of discomfort all together plus the shipping fee just the shipping fee usually is 27 dollars so it's a big saving here is the code and uh, i will I'm still doing the car swap. If you can, if you would like to swap with me, that will be awesome. I'm looking forward to receive the car from you and you might get a one of the car from my uh, video. Here is my PO box and uh, looking forward to receive the car from you. So stay tuned. There is a more tutorial coming soon. This is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand. See you next time. Bye.